Land in the Bonyoro subregion is owned under the customary land tenure system, although a few individuals hold land under the freehold and leasehold tenure systems. The discovery of oil has created pressure on land. This is witnessed by a rise in speculative land buyers hoping to make a kill from the oil resource. This has increased land-related conflicts. Individual plots on customary land are separated by trees, which is a recipe for conflict. There is literal live fencing. But usually what people do, they plant trees along the borders with the neighbors. They agree on some certain points with the neighbors. This fencing has led to more conflicts, especially during conversations, as neighbors always claim for the same pieces of land. The land speculators rushed from all over the country and came and positioned themselves in these areas, these prime areas where they expect oil to be. And even the adjacent areas, aware of the fact that Oil industry is a big industry and it has other auxiliary industries. So, in a way of positioning themselves to get land that they will later use to develop these other auxiliary industries, land gain divide. Civil society organizations, especially the Mid-Western Region Anti-Corruption Coalition, MIROC, a consortium of civil society organizations fighting against corruption and other organizations, are helping communities in Bunyoro form groups to acquire certificates of customary ownership. What is happening as civil society organizations, we are helping uh, the communities which previously used to own this land communally which used not to attach uh, a, a, a strong value on this land, to, to form groups or to form associations. And, and it is through these associations that uh, um, we are organizing the communities to acquire customary, uh, I mean certificates of customary land ownership. We do this uh, working closely with uh, uh, the area land committees work with uh, uh, the district uh, land boards. This program is so far successful in Masindi district where over 70 groups have so far acquired the certificates. The program which is supported by local leaders is expected to be duplicated in Bulisa, another district suffering from land grabbing. We have been in position to secure about 70 certificates of customary land ownership in Masindi but also uh, we we believe that with the support with, with the support from the district local leadership in Bulisa, which is very much interested in uh, seeing that the natives of Bulisa have security over their land, we shall be in position to, 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 to run through and have many people secure their land. Titled Land Offers Security of Tenure, but to the poor communities of Bunyoro, Titling of their customary lands remains a myth, especially with the discovery and the expected exploitation of oil on their land. Report compiled by Tiaba Bakar Setumba, NBS, live at 9.